of Operations for Kanarka and Kerala. Uh, the reason why I'm here today is to basically talk about my company, uh, AECC Global India. Uh, we've been established from 2008. Uh, we are here to talk about our global India's largest virtual education fair which is happening on every Saturday. We've started from last Saturday, conducted Canada and USA, moving on to UK and Australia in the following weekends. So we're here to talk about students meeting universities and talking to universities virtually, even though this current situation has stopped face-to-face -face meets, but we're still happy to conduct this event and have students talk to universities, talk about admissions, talk about scholarships, even talk about the enrollments for 2022. So we encourage students to come online and chat with universities, talk to universities and see what's the benefits of them, uh, making sure that their future, their dreams are not being put aside, keeping in the pandemic situation and everything goes as normal during these virtual education fairs. Sir, how many enrollments, sir? Uh, well, we have close to 100 enrollments that are actually happening in the year 2021, even with the current pandemic situation. Uh, we're all hoping that 2022 will be a very different year as well. Uh, in terms of the enrollment so far that has happened for the uh, virtual events, it's it's almost coming close to 2,000 students have actually logged in in the last two days and we're hoping that the similar numbers happen as well in the coming weekends as well. Going on sir? So the education fair is on uh, weekends, uh, it's on Saturdays. So we already had one last Saturday, we'll have another one the coming Saturday and the last one on the following Saturday as well. So. Well, we would encourage all the students to, to basically come online, uh, log into the virtual event, come online, talk to universities, identify what is the right courses, what are the opportunities, what are the availabilities in terms of scholarships, what are the possibilities of getting an admission. And uh, even though this situation, we don't want students to be sitting at home, we want them to be able to still address their issues, talk and get their admissions uh, rolling for 2022. Yeah, well, so coming to the point which uh, we were discussing earlier as well, so loans are a possibility. So once students apply, they get an admission letter, they can still avail a loan. Uh, they will still be able to talk to bank managers. Like I said, even in this current pandemic situation, students have been able to get admissions, have been able to get loans as well from banks. So once the admission is done, we do help students and guide them as well how to apply for visas and for their loans.